Team coverage takes us right now to the peninsula. We expect to see some of the highest snow totals there. And that's where we find our Aaron Kelly in Newport News at Oyster Point. So, Aaron, what exactly is happening right now? Well, I can tell you that they are making brine with these uh, big tanks behind me here. This is where they store the brine. This is where the salt goes in, where that says brine extreme. The salt goes in there, and they mix it all together. Then they use these hoses that are along the ground here, and they uh, connect it to one of these trucks. These trucks can hold 1,500 gallons of the brine, and they've got three of these trucks that are out on the roads now that they are rotating in and out to keep refilling with the brine mixture. The crews have been in since 7. They're going to go until 5 today. They're and they're going to bring another crew in. Uh, and then once the snow starts to come down, then they'll start putting that salt sand mixture. Uh, we know they have nine spreaders to do that. They have 12 plows and they have the ability, if they need to, to get to 18 plows just to clear the roads tonight. We've actually prepared for the worst case scenario. You know, we've watched several different uh, forecasts. You know, some are ranging three to six, some are three to five, some are eight to 12. So we've just planned for the worst and hope for the best. And this is actually the first winter for this equipment. This, they set this all up in October. They've been rotating throughout the day here. They're also going to have a crew overnight to clear the roads once that snow starts to head down. But that's the latest here in Newport News. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side. Aaron, thank you. Right now we can take you to Williamsburg. Joe Fisher ex plans to be there all day as the flakes fall and crews work to keep the city safe. Joe, what is happening near you? Yeah, here in Williamsburg, we'll be monitoring the storm from here throughout the duration of this storm, where, we, as Jeremy mentioned, we could see some of those higher snow totals, upwards of six inches possible here in the Williamsburg area. And public works crews tell me that they are ready for whatever accumulation comes our way. You can see these trucks behind me. They have five plows ready to go. Sand is down the road. They say that they are definitely prepared. Now, we want to cut to some video that we got on our way up here to Williamsburg from Portsmouth coming up to 264 West. There was brine on most of the roadways. VDOT telling me they had extra crews in yesterday afternoon and yesterday evening to start that process. We came on to Route 60 here in Williamsburg and we saw the roads pre treated here as well. Today, before the snow starts, VDOT says they'll be monitoring cold spots and trying to pre treat with a brine solution before that snow starts to fall. Again, here in Williamsburg, they're in full preparation mode. Crews will report here at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Another crew will come in at 3 in the morning to cover that overnight shift. And we'll be here throughout the storm. We'll join you again today on Wavy News 10 at 4. For now, we're live in Williamsburg. I'm Joe Fisher. 10 on your side. All right, Joe, thank you. Now here on the south side, preps are underway for this winter weather as well. Our Janine Reyes is live in Portsmouth now with updates from several cities. Janine? Hi, Don. Yeah, no snow here yet in Portsmouth, but I got to tell you, it is bitterly cold out here right now. Although crews across the entire south side began preparing far ahead of the snow this morning. Here's a look in Norfolk this morning where crews began working 12 hour shifts. We visited them as they prepared to head out and put brine on the roads. That's a tool they did not have last year. And once the snow begins, they have 900 tons of salt and 600 tons of sand to keep your road safe. They've also got extra plows this year. Crews say they've had plenty of practice runs so far this season, but this is the first major snow and they're ready. This one event is a little bit different. They're calling for anywhere from four to eight inches, depending on the model and the tracking. Uh, so we know we've got to get some plows ready to get them uh, out on the road. Crews will only plow when they expect two inches of snow or more. They suggest you stay off the roads altogether if you can, but if you must head out, they ask you to steer clear of their trucks as they do have several blind spots. Out in Virginia Beach, preps have started as well, and the city manager's office announced today that city facilities will likely close early tonight. You'll also want to watch right here on Wavy TV for an adjusted city schedule for tomorrow. They do plan to announce that this afternoon. We will, of course, continue to monitor all this winter weather for you and keep you updated on any closures or delays. We've also got a, a slideshow of some of the freezing weather on wavy.com. You'll want to check that out. Trust me, Katie, it's much more comfortable from your TV screen than out here in the cold. I certainly believe that, Janine. Thank you very much. 